Hey, Ed here again. Okay, session four, part four of the um, Redrum tutorial. Uh, we're going to have a look at the nitty gritty of the control um, pop noodles or the, the control knobs in each of the channels for each of the drums and what they do. Uh, you'll see that there are three, I think three different uh, layouts in, in these areas here. This uh, dark grey area here, um, the light grey, and then we have a, a slightly different configuration here. So that the, essentially for the drums there are three different layouts and they do slightly different things uh, which are useful for, for different types of drum. Um, so I think we came across the, the, the pitch one, that's probably the, the one to start with. Um, we've got a four floor drum beats per bar set up there. Um, we're selecting the floor drum. Our floor drum is in this channel here. So if we set that um, pattern running, straightforward four, four beats on the floor drum. Um, pitch simply changes the pitch of the sample. Okay, that one's fairly straightforward. The length of the sample is controlled with, with this here, so we can cut that down to the, 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 the start of, of the, or the first part of the sample or, or play the full sample in its entirety. This switch here uh, is, is sets either a decay or a, a straight gate, so there's a straight cut off with this, the, the gate or square wave. Uh, so if we shorten that note now you'll hear that it gets to a point where it suddenly cuts off. So that's a, a straight harsh cut off. If we set that to decay instead of the gate then that fades off rather than a sudden cut off. Hear that? Um, let me just sample in a, a longer um, uh, sample so that you can hear uh, how, how that works. Bit a 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 bit. Okay. We can lengthen and shorten that note, or that, that sample rather. And then we can cut it off or allow it to fade off. Okay, so that's what that does there. Um, the level is just a way of, we have the master level up here and then we can control the individual level of each of the drums on these knobs here and we can control the velocity, the dynamic um, attack if you like of, of that drum using this. So if we want a harsher attack then we bring it down to the left hand side. If we reduce the velocity Okay, that gives you an idea of that. I'll go back to the um, sorry, the, the standard drum kit. With the floor drum. Take the level down on that a bit. Um, we can change the pan, the stereo pan left to right, using this knob here. And down the bottom here we can alter the tone, so that's like a high pass filter, or a low pass filter, to just, just um, filter out some of the frequencies. 
and we can change the velocity um, which that tone is is affected by using this knob here all fairly straightforward uh, controls we have I'll just flip the rack round so you can see the back we, we are sending out from this um, send here send number one to a um, an effect and we've sent that through an effect through a, a mixer uh, I don't want to go into too much detail about the effects or the mixer channels uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in a, in a future session but this knob here controls the amount of effect and that, that's a distortion effect so as we turn that up you can see that it's being distorted and that is controlled using that here for, for send 1 and send 2 we don't have anything on send 2 at the moment but if we did that would be controlled by this knob here um, moving on to um, this type of uh, channel here with a instead of the tone we have a start and all, all that does is it, it changes um, Sorry, I want to be on that one there, so let's put a pattern in. And we can move the start of the sample, so we, we can cut out the first bit of the sample if you like. Let's, uh, we've got a, a, let's take out, sorry, let me take out the floor drum. So that's the full sample, and then we can cut out the first part of the sample using that start adjustment there. And again, we can control the velocity with which that kicks in, if you like, the attack velocity with which that start control happens is controlled by this velocity switch here. OK, so that's that type there. Um, this type here sorry let me just get rid of the hi-hat so this drum here let me turn that down a wee bit We can control the pitch, but also we can control the bend on that pitch. So, so that attacks from a low pitch and, and rises up the bend. So that bends. And we can bend down by starting at a high pitch and bending down. So that's what that controls there. And we can control the rate at which that happens here. And again, the, the dynamic velocity at which that happens using this knob here. OK, so those are the three different types. So we have a tone, uh, a, a pitch with a pitch bend, and then an adjustment to the, to the start of the sample on these ones here. OK, I'll... Um, leave that there and uh, we'll come on to looking round the back flip that back and we'll talk about the gated outputs gated in and the pitch controls on and something more about these sends on a future session thanks for listening <laughs>